What's going on YouTube, Tass here, bringing you a new video, a one-off video. This is the best team on FIFA 18 right now. This could change in a couple weeks' time, depending on prime icons that EA bring out. Could depend on team of the year, etc, etc. So you better be watching this video today, the day it's out, or within the next couple days, maximum a week. Otherwise, it's going to be irrelevant for the future. So, this is the best team on FIFA 18. Now, not only is it the best team, I'm going to do... The best players in each position. So I think the 4-4-2 is the best formation for this. We can get two strikers. We can get two center mids. We can get the right forward and the left forward. And of course the flat back four with the goalkeeper. So without further ado, let's hop into it. We'll start from the back and build to the front. That's kind of how teams do it in real life. Great team. So I'm going to try pretend like I'm great. So let's get into it. I'm sure you're not going to be shocked at all. Are you? I mean, like... Surely you're not sitting here in disbelief at who the goalkeeper is. In my opinion, my humble opinion, so we might as well go with the info. In my humble opinion, we are looking at the greatest goalkeeper. I shouldn't use the word greatest. The best goalkeeper in the world in real life. Sorry, Neuer. Uh, I've, I've got to change it after that Arsenal game. This guy was ridiculous. Um, so we might as well have his inform him. And he is the best keeper on FIFA 18. Who's going to challenge him? Let's say in a couple months time, of course the team of the years, I mean, I mean, that doesn't really count. Maybe the team of the year Buffon or something, but I'd say maybe the prime Yashin could challenge this man. But this guy, he's just, it's mostly the saves that he does with his feet. I'm sure you guys that play FUT Champions week in, week out will know about this man. Uh, so we might as well get his inform in, better than the goal, so we'll get the inform in. Moving on, we'll go over to the left back and we'll go, we'll swerve over all the way to the right back. So... Left back, we've got some players. We've got Sandro's, we've got Jordi Alba. We've got Sandro, Jordi Alba. I say that's really it. And now the man I'm going to put in is Roberto Carlos. His prime card's come out, so therefore I feel like this is no debate. There's no debate in this. If there was no prime card, then you never know. Maybe, you know, we could get someone in. But it's it's prime Roberto Carlos. I mean, have a look at them stats. In my opinion, they've EA have done him an injustice with his dribbling. 81 dribbling is very disrespectful. This man... I mean, if you watched football to any degree of watching him, whether it was regularly or here and there, this man could dribble the football. So I think 81's a bit disrespectful considering it's his prime card. But 86 physical for a fullback of his size as well. 86 defend, 92 pace, and everything's just 80 plus. The guy is an all-round beast. So in my opinion, I've used his card as well. The worst version of Carlos, and he was an absolute unbelievable player. So moving on. Carlos is pretty simple for me. Sandro, Alba, you never know. They could challenge him, but for me, Carlos. So here, no question. We've got Maldini. It's not His prime's not even out yet. So obviously, I've got him in the club, so I might as well put my club version in. Paolo Maldini, all my thoughts on this guy. The best centre-back I've used on FIFA 18 so far. Almost a cerebral assassin. Not someone who's going to just slam his foot in and take the ball off you or maybe snap ankles and stuff like that. Just reads the game reads the game yeah i mean it's as simple as that reads the game but it's physical if he's getting if he's getting asked to get physical he can get physical and he can run with the best of them so i mean is there really a debate and he's got a four star week for and you can see them stats so surely no debate and here for a duo this is sort of like the pick i'm gonna make here is maybe the best compliment to paolo maldini in my opinion so for me i've used a couple players with maldini i've used blanc I've used um, Rijkaard. I've used... Yeah, that's about it. Desai Yano is another shout. So at the moment, there is... The Prime version is out. So for me, it is Rio Fan. And he, and he compliments him very well. Rio Fan is a very physical player. He wants to get his foot in. I'm not saying he's not technically gifted. You're damn right he is. But he's more extremely physical. So I think it's a better compliment to the ball player that Maldini is. More so the you know, Cerebral Assassin, as I said. So for me, that, that is the best partnership on FIFA 18 right now. Can't get better than that. For personal, you know, personal preference, you might want to switch Ferdinand with a Desai or a Blanc or something like that. I personally would not recommend it, but that's up for debate. So moving on to fullback, right back. There's only two players. It's between two players here. No icons. It's between Kyle Walker and Antonio Valencia. Now, Kyle Walker has always been my guy on FIFA. Um, and he's moved to Man City, so it's made it easy for me to compliment him. But... I'm afraid. I'm using Valencia this weekend as well, this weekend league. And Antonio Valencia has got an inform card. 
and you just have to respect it. I mean, it's an incredible increase from his normal card as well. And when you look at these stats, and again, the physicality that he brings to the table, okay, he has a one-star weak farm, but I'm telling you, that is not the end of the world. The man has got basically Walker's pace, but then he's got a lot better dribbling, and he's got a lot better physical, and he's just an absolute tank. I mean, I've seen this guy shove off 94R9 like it's nothing. And I'm telling you, that's not easy to do. So this guy is for sure, in my opinion, the best fullback on Vive 18. Although Kyle Walker is going to give him a run for his money, in my opinion. Moving on. Let's see, where should we move on? So we've got the two strikes, we've got two centimeters, we've got the wingers. We'll move on to the two centimeters. For me, this is very simple. I'm just going to put their names in. We're not even going to talk too much. I'm just going to put their names in, and we're just going to stare at their card. That's what we're going to do. We're going to stare at it. So, tch, I mean, let's just stare at it. Do you know what I mean? I mean, what else is there to say? This is the best centre mid, all round centre mid on FIFA. His prime isn't even out. And actually, take a moment, guys, to feel sorry for me. Look at look at where it says bought for. See that number? There'll be a bunch of you, or a certain amount of you. Not the majority, but the minority will be like, Tass, okay, that's how much you bought him for. How much does he go for? Yeah. Let's, just, let's just check how much he goes for. I messed up, my brain wasn't working, I thought it said 3.7 whatever and it said 4.7. So uh, yeah, you can have a little giggle in the comments below. But anyway, before we move on, Hurley obviously is the best centre mid, I don't think I need to really help you guys out, look at the stats, they're right there. Um, with the 5 star week for all star skills, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, video ideas, leave some comments below what kind of video ideas you want. Uh, no road to glory, because I just think it's a bit too late for that. I, I did think of a Thierry Henry road to glory a lot earlier beginning of FIFA but I don't know about that so leave a comment below about one of the video ideas that you want to see because I don't think I'm gonna upload my FUT Champions uh, videos anymore unless I do a challenge or if it's a 40 out of 40 gameplay because other than that I think it's a bit boring for you guys so I think there might be other cool video ideas that you want to see so leave a comment below moving on he needs a partner he needs again this situation just like the center back issue you need to compliment one player needs to compliment the other if they're, you know, playing in the same position next to each other. So this man, I mean this man, this is Arsenal's greatest midfielder. There's no ifs, buts or maybes. Again, these two players, it's not even their prime cards and you're looking at them stats and they are ridiculous. It is Vieira, the, gr the, best, cent the best CDM ever on FIFA. I'm not going to make a comment about real life, but on FIFA, the best CDM. And as you can see, I've actually done well for the price tag on Vieira compared to my Hullet, but... Look at that, 85 pace, I mean, the guy, 85 pace, 89 physical, I mean, I, I just feel like it's kind of self-explanatory, these players, so, I mean, there's not really much else to say, so moving on from these two tanks, we will go over to the left forward position, so, if Prime Ronaldinho was out, we would ha be having a serious debate right now, but he's not, so, for me, it's simple, it's CR7, he's still one of the best offensive players on FIFA 18. Now, the reason why I say one of the best is because now he's got some serious competition, hasn't he? In some of these icon cards. So, he's definitely one of the best. Self-explanatory again. The man's going to get a Team of the Year card as well. So, their stats are going to be ridiculous. He's going to still be one... I mean, his Team of the Year card will probably be the best player on FIFA 18. No, disrespect. Brazilian R9, 96. I don't know. Leave a comment below what you think about that. But moving on, we will go over to the right forward position. You know, the, for how to set up the team, maybe on the wing, because I'm in a 4-4-2. If this was specifically me making a team, I'd probably not put Messi in because he's not probably the best winger on the game. Probably Bale would be better than him, believe it or not. But we're talking about the best player in each position. And Lionel Messi, he's got an M4 or a purple or something. This is some sort of card. Oh, wait. Uh, we'll swap him for the his position. That was a bit awkward. So uh, where is it? Okay, so an inform, an inform right wing. There he is, Lionel Messi, 90 pace, basically 97 dribbling. This guy is one of the best cams on the game. That is his position, in my opinion. Doesn't really have another position on the pitch in another format. If you're not playing him cam in a two striker formation, I probably wouldn't spend coins on Lionel Messi. 
that would be where I'd want to play Messi. Maybe Lamb or something in the 4-2-3-1, but other than that, I wouldn't want to have him like right forward or something like that, because he's not very physical and you need physicality, so. But for his position, he's the best player in the game. The best player in the world, in my opinion. Sorry, I said it. Leave a comment below if you think Cristiano Ronaldo's better than him, but I know what I see. And Leo is something special. So moving on, I'm pretty sure I've said moving on a gazillion times. Two strikers. It's pretty simple. So we got the 94 Ronaldo. I've got him. Thankfully. Thank the Lord. I've got him. Five star, five star. I don't know how many five star, five star players there are in the game. So there's Neymar, R9. You can leave a comment below who I'm missing. I was just off the top of my head. I can think of Neymar. But the difference between him and Neymar. This man brings physicality to the table. That is the key. He brings height. A bit more height. And he brings physicality. Obviously, Neymar doesn't bring the physicality. So, just have a look at them. Stats. He's got the 80 physical, 90 plus dribbling, 90 plus pace, 90 plus shot, and the 5 star, 5 star. Ridiculous. Best card on the game I've used thus far. The only thing that's going to make me change my mind is maybe his 96, which is his prime. Or the Team of the Year Ronaldo is going to make me change my mind whether this man is the best player ever on FIFA. Forget FIFA 18, ever on FIFA. So... Yeah, not really much else to say about him. Moving on. Swiftly, there's one position. I don't know what we should do. Well, I'm not too sure we should put in. You're going to be shouting at your, your monitors, your TVs, your laptops, your phones. I mean, listen, don't worry. Don't you worry. You know who we're putting in. If Gorilla's watching this, ah, Taz, Taz is being all emotional. No, I'm not being emotional. I'm not being emotional at all. This is Thierry Henry. This is the greatest player the Premier League has ever seen. I'm sorry, Giggs. I'm sorry, Shearer. Come on. Let's show some respect. This man changed sort of the flavour and the way the, the way the Premier League was going. We'd never seen someone this tall with the ability to dribble with the ball and shoot like this and run as quick as this. It was ridiculous. So this guy changed the changed the face of the game around the year of 2000, 1998. I mean, this guy, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm probably complimenting him and you guys are like, Tass, we get it. So I'm going to move on from him in real life. I'm going to talk about him on FIFA. So before you start harping on about his statistics in game, Tass, look at him. Ha ha, he hasn't even got a goal per game. I'm playing him centre mid. I'm recreating something special. And as we speak, I'm 20 and 0 in the weekend leagues. We've got 20 games to go probably streaming them or probably would have already streamed them by now who knows what would have happened it's not too important qualifications over relax but yeah send him mid and he's playing an unbelievable role so i've got him send him mid at the moment with Vieira and hullet but don't get it wrong don't get me wrong if we're talking about best player in their position right now two strikers him and r9 after r9 there's not a better striker than Thierry. i mean no way and the reason i'm not playing him up front isn't because he's not very good but I'm sort of like, I'd rather have Cristiano Ronaldo up top with Ronaldo. And then I want to just test him, man. The man's six foot two, Medium, medium. I don't know why EA gave him medium, medium. Could he play centre mid? He's got every statistic to play centre mid other than the defending stat. So I will find out whether that is something that screws it over. But at the moment, 20 games in, 20-0. and 0, And I'm watching him. I don't care about my record. I'm watching him. Seeing what he's doing. And... It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful tree at the moment. But even up front, he's the best player on the game after R9. So simple as that. This is, I mean, what a team. Leave a comment below. Would you change some things? I'd say, I'd say Valencia is exchangeable. Messi, not for his position now. Messi, you can't. The centre-backs may be personal preference, but in my opinion, these two are the best. Uh, the De Gea, I don't think there's a question there. The, Car the Carlos, nah, come on. The prime card's out. Surely, a normal Alexandro at the moment is not better. Than a prime Carlos. The only thing that would maybe change that is maybe a team of the year Marcelo. That could change it, but that is the best team on FIFA 18. So uh, yeah, there you go. Apologies, last video for my mic. I saw all the comments below. I think something's going on where things are just messing up, and somehow my mic is unplugging. So therefore, I'm using my default webcam mic. So this video should be okay. Leave a comment below if the mic was okay because I've got a very good mic, so it should be okay. But if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new. Leave a comment below how you're doing in Fuck Champs because this video is uploaded on the Sunday. So leave a comment below how you're doing in Fuck Champs. So subscribe if you're new. Like the video. I'm repeating myself. Until next time, I will catch you later. Peace.